morning, my beautiful people. I am so, so, so excited to be here with you today. Just put on a dress. So like, I obviously have to take my tag off and I forgot. So I'm in something right now called MTC which is Missionary Training Center. I'm online at the moment, so that's why I'm still at home, which is actually really nice because I'm adjusting to missionary life while I'm still living at home for the next two weeks, so that's been really, really fun. Being a missionary is my most favorite thing in the whole wide world, but it is kind of difficult. For Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I usually have a workshop, so since it's Thursday, <coughs> we don't have a workshop, but we have class at 10, 10 to 1, and then we have a two-hour break, and then we have class from, from 3 to 5 p.m. My days are super busy and full, but I love them. I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes studying, and then I have a companionship study with my wonderful companion, so I'll show you guys that. It's gonna be great. I have all these papers that I need to organize because my desk is getting messy. There's a little intro for you and we're gonna get on with the day. Okay, I just finished my companionship study. That's what you guys saw. I was planning out a lesson that we have, and now I am joining our district meeting. Maybe I'll be able to somehow show you. Let's see if I can do this. We were supposed to ask our parents for attributes, they Christ like attributes that we have in ourselves, and we watched a chosen Have episode. They I definitely suggest you guys go and check out the um, chosen if you haven't already. I'll try and link it down below. It's amazing. It is one of the best depictions of Christ. It is just so awesome, and I just love like it makes me have a deeper love for the scriptures. So, anyways, did that. Not in class. <laughs> Taking a little bit of a break. During class, I got a package. I wanted to give you a little op unboxing. This is some things that I got for my mission, and I'm very excited. So we got some claw clips, claw clips, mm, another claw clip, and more claw clips. Also got some cute headbands. Oh, this is a headband. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. Another headband. Well, not headband, um, like handkerchief thingy. And then these are some ponytails. I'm getting so many things for my mission. I really love them. I don't know if you guys like heard and saw. Our district is the best district around. Irma, Irma Costa is the best. And then Irma Lope, Lopez. We we're talking about Christ-like attributes today. And we had Irma Costa asked us to all go and ask our family attributes that they see in us, right? And so then we came back, we watched a really awesome episode from The Chosen, like just like a minute of it. And it was so, so awesome. And then we all talked about attributes. We talked about the talents, the parable of the talents. And I just love how they tie everything together. We watch a video, which helps us to like visualize something. And then we all have a discussion um, about how we can apply that and kind of what we learned from that. So it helps it to stick in our head a lot more. And then we also go into breakout rooms with our companion and we talk a little more. Me and my companion have been growing together so much more. So it's been great. MTC is amazing and I love it. And it's been a great start to kicking off my mission. Ah, I can't wait, I love it. for our second class. I got myself some bagels, because I am starving, and I need food so I can stay attentive. I have class right now, and I will see you guys later. I wasn't intending on filming anything the rest of today, but I just finished doing some scripture study. I'm actually just about to start on some more scripture study, but I wanted to kind of sit down and talk because I just felt like this is something I should share. So as you guys can see, and you guys probably have seen other like missionaries posting, they post a lot of the really happy, amazing times, right? You naturally do that online. I do it all the time. That's why I'm saying this is because I'm very, very prone to this, guilty to this, I guess. The whole point of me filming this and me showing you guys a little bit of the MTC life and like the missionary life is so that you guys can gain a better understanding and awareness of like what it is we do. I will say before I share anything else that a lot of it is just happy good times because when we're serving we're always trying to help others and put others before ourselves. We are still human. We're not perfect in any way and so we still make our mistakes right? But that's what's great about the gospel is because it gives us a chance to kind of repent of that and kind of be made clean. 
all the time, right? I just want to show you guys this to show you that it's not all sunshine and rainbows, right? We still struggle. Today did not go the way I thought it would. I had terrible sleep. I've had really bad sleep the last few nights. I don't know what it is. I've tried going to bed as early as I can before 1030 every night and it's just been a really big struggle. I've never had this type of an issue with sleeping. I don't know what it is. And then yesterday, you know, this morning I did not wake up on time. Well, I woke up at 630. I was like, okay, we're gonna get our stuff done, but I was so tired. I was so out of it that like I couldn't think. I sat up, kind of doze off into like just a stare. I was just staring. Anyways, it's just been a struggle. I couldn't really think straight. I didn't have the attention span or the like eagerness to do anything, right? And I was trying so hard to change my mindset and be like, no, you know what? Like, this is amazing. This is great, right? Try to keep the positivity because that's always been something that helps me. And it was not working. I'm kind of just stressing out with myself. Because I've been doing por Portuguese studying for the last like two months or so, I'm at a little bit of a different level than my district. I feel like sometimes I come off as a know-it-all and that's like my biggest, biggest, biggest worry. I don't wanna be a uh, know-it-all. I don't wanna be this like stuck up person, all these things. It's happened a lot in my life. So obviously there's something that I need to change. I will finish the day strong and we're gonna hope and pray that tomorrow is better, but. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hola. <coughs> oh, actually, just kidding. One second. Okay, now I'm back. I have to put face face stuff on because my face will dry up like a prune. I have to put my tag on. We have companionship study in the next like 15 minutes. I felt so sick this morning, so I didn't really eat much. So I'm gonna go and eat now. I've gotten a little bit better. Yesterday, we were role playing, right? So I was somebody who they were preaching to, or teaching, I meant, I keep saying preaching to, who they were teaching. And he was talking all in Portuguese, and I understand almost 90% of it. I wouldn't exactly be able to say anything back. Like, I couldn't say those things myself, because I don't know them, but I knew the words. Just thought I'd update you guys. Today's gonna be great, and I'll take you guys along with me. done okay i gotta eat i am hurting really badly we're gonna go eat some food i um shared a scripture and testified in portuguese it was a little rough there were some things that i missed so i'm gonna work on that today um but we're doing good we're doing good let's go eat i actually just ate Two little sandwich lettuce wrap thingies which were amazing and i'm a little scared to eat this because i still feel kind of sick so i don't know if this will be good but we're gonna try it i just finished with my lunch it's almost three um i figured i would just come in here i want to just listen to a song maybe practice a little bit of my portuguese just so that i can get back in the spirit feeling you know Okay, that was actually one of the most fun classes ever. We learned a lot of things. I was falling asleep, so I got my snacks, but tomorrow is P day. I'm gonna actually miss my district. I mean, I'm gonna see them on Monday, but like I have sun Saturday and Sunday, and then and then I see them on Monday. But anyways, um, that is kind of the end of what my days look like. I'll show you a little bit of, I guess, the evening time, because I don't think I showed you guys that yesterday. So I'll show you guys the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna keep wearing this because it's really comfortable, but we're gonna go see what my Nina Familia is up to. Just like that, I am back in the bedroom. I felt kind of inspired to, to do this. I felt like I should really kind of write some letters to two of my friends. Just let them know that like I love them and I care about them and thinking of them and that God loves them too. So I want to do that real quick. So I definitely forgot to film I don't know what's going on with my voice right now or my throat or my sinuses because they're acting out. I went and spent time with my family. We ate some dinner. We just hung out and then we watched actually The Other Side of Heaven, which if you guys haven't seen it, it's an amazing story of a missionary actually, just like me, who um, 
I can't really tell you anything because you gotta find out for yourself. But he decides to serve a mission and it's kind of just his story about his mission. I'm actually going to bed a little bit later than I usually do. And yeah, I am definitely still wearing a dress. This dress is very comfortable and I think it definitely passes the is it going on a mission test. But I decided to try on all of my dresses and make sure they were actually comfortable enough to stay in for an entire day and in lots of humidity and heat and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna read my scriptures probably for just like 10 minutes because I really do need to go to bed. Cause I gotta wake up at 6.30, baby. Yeah, thanks for coming along with me with part two of being a missionary.